Aloha! And welcome back to Wonderland Explorers. We traveled the vast distance to come to Hawaii. Yeah. Just kidding. We're really at the Polynesian Resort, but man, does it not feel like you're there. Yeah, it's really wonderful here today. <laughs> the temperatures are perfect, the skies are clear, the sun is shining, and we're trying something new. We're going for breakfast. Yeah. That's why you see nobody out behind us yet. They're still getting ready for the park. <laughs> yeah. We're here with the roosters, and we're trying out the Kona Cafe. Uh, yes, I cannot wait. I've heard it's very good and delicious, and there's a special type of toast in there. Yeah. Is it the Tonga? The Tonga toast. Tonga toast. And I'm like super pumped yeah. to go and try this out. See, for you French toast fans, this is this is the stuff. So we're going <laughs> to check it out. We're going to try it. We're going to review it. And then afterwards, we might just walk around the resort, enjoy this beautiful day, come along with us as we explore. If you're looking to dine at Kona Cafe, it is located inside of Disney's Polynesian Resort on the second floor. So you can come here by uh, the water transportation for the Magic Kingdom, buses, they even uh, service the Polynesian as well. You can also drive here, ride share, and of course, you can take the monorail. Who wouldn't want to take the monorail to come eat at Kona? That just sounds like so much fun, right? Um, if you do get reservations, by all means, definitely come here, try it out. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner is going to be fantastic. Another thing to consider is that if you if you just are limited for time, you want to try something, they have a to-go menu, which I think is fantastic. So you can order ahead, come here, pick it up, and be on your way. You can try these uh, these delicious breakfast items. Kona Cafe has a really interestingly Hawaiian-inspired menu, of course. They have uh, Tonga toast, which is the big favorite here. So if you ever come to Kona Cafe, you have to try the Tonga toast. Or what we like to do is we'll always like split something or we'll get like two of the best items and then we'll, we'll kind of trade back and forth. Occasionally they'll have like specialties, like today they said they had biscuits and gravy and even steak and eggs. So it's not just like sweet Polynesian inspired breakfast items. Um, of course you can get all the sides you want, ham, sausage, bacon. And then they do carry coffee from like Kona coffee, which we're really excited about. So I think we're going to get their specialty Kona um, French press pot for two. It sounds really good. I was just checking out the menu. Like, this is really pretty. I haven't seen this before, like in the regular menu. It's like a watercolor feature. And then, you know, it carries over on the back. It's a really pretty menu. Well, we just got our drinks, and mine is a table fill up quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we certainly have a, uh, a situation going on here. <laughs> but they told us to wait a couple minutes, so this is obviously the, uh, the Kona Coffee French Press. Pretty excited for this. Yeah, and then when it's done, you're supposed to use your muscle. Yeah, to press, suppress. Oh. Become the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Time to pump you up. We're going to press the coffee out. Mm. Oh yeah. Is it hard? Are you roll using that? Roll that beautiful press footage. <laughs> I right, pressed that. Okay. Totally pressed. The first cup. And <laughs> I pressed for time. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. Nice steamy hot cup of coffee. Ooh. Right up your alley. Uh, looks delicious. Alright, so I am curious. Personal preference. Do you like to drink our coffee black? Do you guys do you like, guys like black coffee? Do you like coffee with cream? I'm just kind of curious. Everybody's got like their own little thing about this, but I do like it. Here you go. We are going to be here. Your service is the lovely Miss Julia. Oh, wow. Well. That is very tasty. It's a very light coffee. It's got a lot of flavor. Definitely like there's some floral notes. It's delicious. I think you're really gonna like this. Oh my goodness. It, breakfast has arrived and it smells so good. I went with the uh, macadamia nut pancakes and look at this. It has like a sweet butter on top. Oh, like pineapples. Oh my goodness, like these look so good. I'm excited. I got sausages aside. And then you got. They look so little compared to the Oh, I know, I know. These look so tiny. But uh, man, I'm excited to see what you think of that Tonga toast. 
Mine looks like something out of like a Marvel comics, right? It's like a big square. It's the Tesseract. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought of. It's so cool. And that one with bacon. Look at this. I mean, it's just like a square sugary goodness. Uh, it smells so good. It's like, how do you tap all this? You know? Okay, let's go. Let's let's cut it in. We'll cut it in half. Can you hear that? Uh, Look at the brown sugar just like flying off of it. It looks so good. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. It's not hard. It's just I don't have a, like the best of knife. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Let me show you here. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, so it's like a layer of like, you can, if you can smell this right now, it's like banana heaven. It's like a whole banana in there. Yeah. Ooh. I love it. And it comes with this like strawberry syrup. Yeah, and, and that you, stuff smells like a daiquiri. Oh yeah. I don't really know if I want to put that on there. and But I'll, I will try it. And then like a syrup too. Gotta have the syrup. Okay, but I am going to do some syrup though. Are you ready for this footage? <laughs> oh yeah. I'll set that to the side. Okay. I'm gonna get in there. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. It's really good. It's very fresh. It has a good banana, a good crunch, good cinnamon flavor. I really like this. It's kind of fun too to eat it. Yeah. I would give this a uh, five out of five. I love it. So I'm gonna try it with some of the strawberry. But I'm just gonna put it on the one piece. It's really pretty in color. Yeah. That together is amazing. It's like tartness with a sweetness. It actually really balances it all out. It gives it even a more fresh flavor. It's very good. Dive it into the pancakes. So the pancakes by themselves are just like a very average normal pancake. I think what really carries these is the macadamia nuts and the, uh, the buttery pineapple spread that's on top. It's very sweet. It adds a lot of flavor. I think it's very tasty. Um, I think if you like pancakes, you probably like these. But I, I think if you're like you're still coming here to like why come to Kona, probably that Tonga toast is a better better bet here between the two. But overall, they're still pretty tasty. So I wanted to show you here just a little bit, so you can see like in the center there is the banana. But when you come like close to the sides, it kind of just gets a lot of the breading. This is where that strawberry sauce comes in handy because you can see like here at the bottom it just does get a little bit dry. So that's where that like strawberry syrup and then the maple syrup comes in. It's kind of like softened up the bread a little bit. Are you excited to I, try I, the tongue toast? Yeah. yeah, it's really tasty. I got a big chunk of the banana on that one. But um, brown sugar, the cinnamon, all the spices. It's delicious. Yeah, this is this is definitely the reason to come here. This is fantastic. Five out of five all day. Love this stuff. Ooh, but you gotta try it with a strawberry sauce. All right, try it. I, I see what you're saying about the strawberry. It definitely balances out all the flavors, and I like I like the strawberry too with that because it was always banana. That's new, or newer. I don't know when they introduced that strawberry sauce, but I really like that one. I think it works wonderfully. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's better with the strawberry. Overall, what do you give this tongue test? Oh, five out of five. Okay, I can't go with a dry pancake. I gotta add some syrup, you know. That's how it's done. Pancakes are good, like you had said, I agree. They don't really uh, pack a lot of flavor, like the syrup and all the other stuff happens. And then like with the macadamia nuts, they're kind of like sprinkled on top, which makes sense, right? So they're always like in the center of your pancake. So if you're like, ooh, I really love macadamia nuts, it's not like, 
jam-packed full of them. So just keep that in mind. They smell very delicious though. Overall on this dish, I think I would give it like a three out of five. The Tonga Toast is definitely a five out of five. I would give that over the pancakes, but still very good. So to add a little bit more flavor to these pancakes, I added some of that strawberry syrup. It's good on the Tonka Toast. It's not that great on the pancakes. I think if you do the syrup, stick it with the toast. It's not open yet, it's a little early, but we have the Tiki 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 room. And the tiki 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 room. We're seeing words and the flowers croon in the tiki 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 room. So we just left. Kona Cafe. Yeah, we're gonna give you the rock solid review. <laughs> uh, so what did you think, Shanae? Okay, like after we like fully finished the meal, yeah. Tonga Toast, I do like it. I do like it. It's yeah. also a very sweet breakfast. I yeah, call that a vacay breakfast one. You don't usually yeah. eat, but you do enjoy it. And it's not as like, I think a French toast, I think of like soft, gushy. It's yep. a little bit more on the drier side. But I think it's like how it's made and then the middle part is the best part, like with the banana and the creaminess. That's good. Pancakes. I don't think I would get those again. I think I would go like with different option, like the uh, savory option of like the meat, potatoes, yeah. eggs type of thing. Yeah. And then maybe you could like split that with the Tonga Toast with somebody else. Tonga Toast on your own. It is a lot, but hey. All right, Kyle, what's your rock solid review? <laughs> Um, yeah, I completely agree with what you said. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, it's definitely a vacation breakfast. It is a sweet breakfast. So you, you, you touched on that. I completely agree. A lot of the items there are supposed to be like Polynesian, Hawaiian inspired. So there's going to be sugars and pineapples and fruits and stuff like that. So if you're trying to probably watch sugar, I, I don't think that's the best place <laughs> to go. Even like I noticed they had like drinks there. Like they had non-alcoholic like oh, yeah, starter sweet. drinks that were all like papaya and mango and they all looked really, really delicious, but it's just lots of sugar, lots and lots of sugar. So. It could be a good uh, thing though. Get you yeah. the sugar to get through the pots. Yeah, yeah, or, or if you're trying to watch the little ones in your party, I don't know, you know? That's a way to start the day. It's a long day ahead of you, you know what I mean? No, but I, I completely agree. I think we wanted to split the breakfast and like not just both get Tonga toast. We wanted to try different things. So I mean, I'm glad I tried the macadamia nut pancakes I, I would not recommend them I, I cannot recommend them they it wasn't that they were bad they just didn't have any flavor that that was my takeaway yeah. even adding like the syrups and everything it just kind of was like you know I mean you're just kind of drowning it in syrup to eat something with flavor so it, just stay away from those I would try the Tonga toast also like we were we were saying how they had specials today like you could have yeah. gotten like uh, like steak and eggs or even um, like what was that the biscuits and gravy, gravy yeah. I would have tried the biscuits and gravy like in hindsight I, I wish I had gotten that just to just to see what it, it tasted like yeah. but you're at the Polynesian you're like you gotta try this stuff right yeah. so I would probably urge you guys try it for yourself see if you guys like it let, let us know I right, go with the Tonga Toast though just, just say <laughs> while we're here at the Polynesian we said let's just explore the resort for a little bit because I mean it's it's just I love being here it's just such a relaxing beautiful resort and you have to love all the landscaping that they have here one thing that i've wanted to go check out for a really long time is what's happening with the spirit of aloha dinner show we loved that show like it was so much fun they had the, the hula dancers the, the fire spitter all that good stuff there's like no plans of bringing that back and i'm just curious like i haven't been over by it. i just want to see what the building looks like so i think we might mosey that way just to just to see what's happening with it So I just came upon the sign for the Spirit of Aloha Dinner Show. The Aloha Spirit comes alive with authentic dances, enchanting music, and an all-you-care-to-enjoy family feast in this spectacular celebration of Polynesian culture. Showtime's 5.15 and 8.15 p.m. Tuesdays through Saturdays. Well, I, you know, this is just like, it's like a little bit of a tease. Because obviously the show isn't going on, but I mean, it's, ah, oh, man. I, I'm just really hoping they bring this back. Or, and hoop-de-doo. And the Hoopty Doo musical review over at uh, 
Fort Wilderness. See, it just is, this is, man, bring it, bring it back. So here we are at what was the check-in area for the Spirit of Aloha dinner show. And I'm noticing that the sign is down. So you can see here, it's, it's just completely missing. And then over here, which was part of the, uh, the check-in booth, they've turned it into a uh, smoking section. So I'm seeing a couple ashtrays there. <sighs> doesn't, look, uh, doesn't look like this show's coming back anytime soon. We're, we're just walking back to what would be the Polynesian Spirit of Aloha dinner show. Yeah. It's kind of like just a really nice trail. But it's, up, 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 we were met by a rope. We've met, we've met the rope. But it's not really, uh, it doesn't really look very much kept up back here. But oh, I, you can kind of see though, look it. So there it is, that's the actual stage and you can see the surfboard right over the main stage where it says Disney's Spirit of Aloha. But yeah, very much, uh, very much unkept, got a lot of, got a lot of leaves and this is obviously where you'd sit and wait before they brought you in. Ah, man, come on, Disney. Bring back the aloha. Need, we need a little bit of aloha. Sure, I think after some Tonga toast, and everything we've been through for the last couple of years, come on, Disney. Bring back the aloha. We need some aloha. <laughs> We're going to start the chant. Aloha, aloha, aloha. We just love the Polynesian, you know? And if you are into taking photos, I think like this is a beautiful place. Like, doesn't this remind you of like a Corona commercial? You'd have your Corona with a lime and you're on the beach just soaking up the sun. <laughs> All right, everyone, that does it from the bright sandy shores here of the Polynesian. Yeah, we really had a fun day coming to Kona Cafe, sharing that experience with you. I hope you guys get to come out, have some breakfast there yourself. It's a lot of fun. You can always take the monorail and go to the parks afterwards. You'll definitely jacked up on sugar to do so. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> or you can explore the resort just like we did. Yeah. Again, we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, until next time, friends. Bye. bye. <laughs> hey, Kyle. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why did the toucan stop using the cell phone? Why? Because he got a large bill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got like a tropical toucan shirt on today. It's very fancy. I do. I got a joke for you though. Okay. Okay. What did the bird say to the monkey that stole its fruit? What? Toucan played that game. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs>